The throat plates that come with most table saws, especially older ones, are pretty inadequate. For one, if you've taken off your guard, you've got no more kickback protection. And two, the slots on these are so wide that when you do cross-cutting of sheet goods like plywood or melamine, you often get a lot of tear out. Now you can buy an aftermarket throat plate that works great, but you can make one yourself with a piece of scrap plywood. It takes about 45 minutes. I'll show you how. Start by taking out your existing throat plate. Place it on a piece of half inch plywood or so. You can judge the kind of plywood you need by the thickness right here inside your saw. Get it flush on one side and the ends and this, then just trace out the pattern. Now that you have your blank cut out, the idea is you put your blank in here, cover it up with your fence, but obviously not where the saw is going to come through, and you raise your blade. Now you notice I took the regular blade out because a regular blade won't let me put this piece in without having it hit. So what I do is I use a smaller diameter blade for my dado set. I want to make sure it's the same thickness as the blade you'll be using for your regular cutting. That's a perfectly sized slot for your blade to prevent tear out. Now that you have your slot cut, you need to make a mark for the splitter. So take a ruler and just carry the line of the slot you just made out to the end and just mark it like that. You'll be making a, a narrower cut here on the bandsaw and putting it in, in the splitter that's slightly narrower than this. The idea here is to cut inside both of those lines you just made, going about an inch and a half, about the width of your splitter. All right, to make the splitter, the perfect stock for it is eighth inch plywood, which is slightly undersized. It's a nice loose fit, because you never want your splitter to be thicker than your kerf, otherwise you can get binding when you're ripping. You can also use a piece of solid stock and just run it through a planer until it's the right thickness. Before gluing the splitter in place, I like to file down the leading edge, just enough so it doesn't catch in any stock. A little dab of glue. Both sides, jam it in there, put the glue around, and there you go. Now you might think you're done, but the reality is half inch plywood is a little bit too thin to get a nice flush fit. So what you do is you make this adjustable. There's these tabs inside your saw, which the existing plate rests on, put a mark there, drill a hole, take your set screws from your old throat plate, a little wax on them helps sometimes, and just start threading your plywood throat plate to make it fully adjustable. There we go. And I get the final adjustment. Just keep turning these until you're nice and flush. There we go. Better than new. One last thing. Put a little screw in the back of the throat plate down low. What that does is keeps it from popping up. <laughs> 